What is good? What is up? My name is Jordan. You may know me as Texans Thoughts, and I'm coming at you today with my first ever YouTube video. I'm looking to be your number one source for Houston Texans film breakdowns. Today, I'll be breaking down the man, the myth, the legend, Jacob Martin. Now, you may know that I'm a big fan of Martin. You probably can't find a bigger fan on this earth. And I really just have to pay my respects to him and start out my YouTube channel in his honor. So, in this video, I'll be taking you through all five of Jacob Sachs with the Texans. If you enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below your thoughts on Jacob Martin in the video. Now, let's dive into the film. The first sack I'm going to show you is against the Denver Broncos. Now Jacob Martin is lined up on the left side of the defense in a three-point stance as a left end. Now I didn't know this for a while so I'll explain it to those who don't know also, but he's in a three-point stance because you see one foot, two foot, and then his hand that makes it three. So there you go. Now one of the main things that I love about Jacob Martin's game and I think makes him such a great player and has such a high ceiling is his burst off the line of scrimmage. Just look at when the ball is snapped, look how quickly he's out of his stance and look at the tackle's kick step. So he takes one step there and then another step and then boom. He can only take two steps in his kick step before Jacob Martin is right in his face. Look at that compared to Whitney Merciless who yeah he has a tight end here. Let's see where he's at here but look at Whitney Merciless fire out of his stance compared to Jacob Martin. It's just, it's night and day. And I'm not even trying to harp on Whitney. He has his strengths and his weaknesses, but this is this is Jacob's strength right here, his burst. And so he gets into the offensive tackle. And then right here is when he starts to actually make his move. So what he does is his patented chop move, where you can see the right tackle, he's gonna extend his arm out to try and punch Jacob. But Jacob's able to chop down on his right arm using his own right arm. And let me explain why he does that. He does this because you, as a defensive lineman, you never want to expose your chest to an offensive tackle. That's how that they can beat you. They punch you in your chest, they can easily control you. And so Martin flips his hips, turns his chest away so that he doesn't present a target for the offensive lineman. And you see this offensive lineman, okay, first of all, I don't know what the hell this dude's doing. This is gonna get him fired, but for some reason his head is down, he's bent over like, oh my God, anyways. So he has to flip his hips back the other way, which he does in one fluid motion. That's really hard to do. Going from that step to that step, that's really hard to do. And then look at how he dips low. Look at how low he gets when he makes this turn. So he chops down on the arm, he gets low, he bends, he flips his hips towards the quarterback and just look at the burst to get to Drew Locke here. It's just crazy. So boom, chop down, dip, bend the corner, and then Drew Locke, he notices his, he's coming and he tries to step away from it, but Jacob Martin's just too damn fast for him. You can't do anything against that. He's too damn fast. He brings him down and then flex on him. Yeah, hey, let's go. So now on this play, Jacob is on the left side of the defense again, where he normally plays. And this time he's in a four point stance because you see, well, I guess you can't really see, but one, two feet, you can kind of see it there and then three, four are your hands. So that's your four point stance. And he's up here against right tackle Braden Smith, who is a pretty good player in his own right. But on this play, Jacob honestly makes him look silly here. He just straight up embarrasses him, where he flies off the ball and then boom, he does his chop, he does his dip and his rip move and he gets the sack on Jacoby Brissett. I went through that too fast. Let me go back. So Jacob Martin, chop, his chop doesn't even land on this play. He mistimes it. He's a bit early on his chop move, as you can see. And Braden Smith, at this point, he gets a hand on Jacob Martin's sh shoulder pad. And like I mentioned before, offensive linemen, they want to be able to get their hands on a defensive lineman's chest. However, if they're able to get it on the shoulder pad, that can do something to at least stop you from getting to the quarterback. So Jacob Martin has to defeat his hands once again, Braden Smith's hands. And so what does he do? He hits him with this nice little rip move. You didn't see the rip move on the last play because he didn't need to. But on this play, he needs to. And so he uses that rip move where he swings his arm upward, boom, right like that, and gets Braden Smith's hands off of him. 
and he's able to get low and bend the, this corner let me go back chops dips gets low to bend the corner flips his hips towards the quarterback and boom brings him down look at him just lunge forward for that you're not getting away you try and step from the pocket you ain't getting away that's a sack and then and then wait for it wait for it wait for it Ooh, i love this i love this look at the celebration ah let's go he just gets me so hyped with these sallies dog all right let's talk about this bill's sack man i can't even begin to describe how hyped i was when this happened oh man i'll put up my tweet of my live reaction right here i'm gonna read it for you jacob i'll go with mf martin my guy it's over bye bye buffalo oh man i was through the roof when this happened it was a huge moment in a huge game and it seemed like it was game clinching now they ended up coming back and tying the game but we didn't talk about that we still end up winning and this was like the ultimate coming out party for jacob martin it's a big time game big time moment and he steps up in the clutch Oof. So that's gonna be my question of the day let me know in the comments below how you reacted to that jacob martin sack and that bills playoff win okay now that i've got all the hype out of the way let's actually break this thing down and dive into the film jacob martin is lined up on the right side of the defense and while i don't love him on the inside he can do it occasionally i'd rather have him on the outside where he can really take advantage of his speed but anyways he's lined up as three tech on the outside shoulder of this left guard him and Whitney Merciless here are running a tackle and stunt, where Martin's whole job is to free up Merciless for a free run inside to the quarterback. So let me show you what happens here. Martin runs forward and he takes his first initial step inside. So then the left guard's gonna think he's going inside, but he's not actually, he's going boom, he's going outside. And his whole job here is to occupy this right tackle so that Whitney Merciless can loop in here and have a free run at Josh Allen and get the sack. And that's exactly what he does. Martin make great contact on the right tackle, on the left tackle, sorry, who doesn't even see it coming, honestly. And Whitney Merciless, right now, he's got to be licking his chops. He's got this wide open alley to Josh Allen and Quentin Spain, the left guard, has his back turned to him. Whitney Merciless should really have the sack here. Now, what happens next? Quentin Spain is actually able to recover, turn around, and block Whitney Merciless. So that's why he doesn't get the sack, but that's not the point of this play. The point is to highlight Jacob Martin and his greatness. So like I said, he plants off the inside, goes outside, hits the right tackle, hits the left tackle. Sorry, my sides are a little messed up. And the left tackle is so stunned that he's not able to comprehend what's happening. And so Martin pushes him in the chest, boom, and he swims over with his right hand. So this left tackle can't even block Martin. Everything just happens too quick for him. Martin's too fast. He swims over, boom, he's got a free run at Josh Allen. And now at this point, at this point, Josh Allen, he sees Martin coming, but he knows the situation. It's a clutch down to save his playoff hopes. He's got to get away from this. He's got to get away from Jacob Martin. And so he tries his best and you know josh allen he might not be the greatest quarterback he's solid but the one thing he can do is run he can run for sure but the great and special thing about jacob martin is his athleticism and he's one of the very few guys who can chase down these mobile quarterbacks he can chase down the russell wilson's pat mahomes lamar jackson's and here the josh allen's of the world so josh allen tries to roll out go right he can't he tries to stop goes left martin brings him down to the ground and that's a sack do we get a sack celebration here do we get it he's like getting hyped up he's jumping around oh NFL game pass, y'all some haters. Are we trying to see my boy Jacob Martin sack, Ellie? Ah, all right. So this Patriots game is where Jacob saw his most snaps ever, and he really produced with two sacks. Now in this first sack I'm gonna show you, he's lined up on the left edge in a three-point stance. As always, he fires off the snap. Look at this, fires off the snap, boom, first one up. And on this play, he uses a really nice swipe rip combo. So he first, he times his punch nicely where he gets his hands inside, has one inside, one kind of on the shoulder, shoulder pad on Marcus Cannon and Marcus Cannon also has a hand inside. 
So like I said, offensive tackles, they want to get their hands onto your chest. And so obviously Jacob Martin has to defeat that hand and get him off of him. So Jacob uses his left arm to swipe away the right hand of Marcus Cannon. He uses his right hand to beat Marcus Cannon's left hand and his left hand to swipe down at Marcus Cannon's right hand. So he uses that two hand swipe very nicely. Boom, get off of me. And then he's not done here because as you can see, Marcus Cannon is trying to recover. But what does Jacob Martin do? He does what he always does. He dips that shoulder down and he rips his hand through. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see his right arm goes up. Boom, swipes that away. And he's got a free reign to Tom Brady who just, oh no. Oof, he escapes him. Tom Brady, 70 year old Tom Brady gets away. Josh Allen couldn't, but Brady can't. What? What's the problem here? All right, so the problem here is that Jacob gets low at this point, but then he gets up. Look at how straight up he is. So he's not able to bend properly, and he's just running more in a straight line where he can't go up a little bit more like he needs to, and Brady's able to avoid him at the last time. So just staying low throughout the entire snap, that'll help. But anyways, Jacob Martin, he's not done. He slopped, oh God, his little ankle hurt there. Ew, oh god that looks like look at this left leg sorry i just noticed it but oh god that's gotta hurt that doesn't look okay anyways jacob martin keeps on fighting he doesn't give up brady tries to step up even more and he ends up getting sacked so he splits the sack here with zach cunningham and this is just really fun man he just terrorized marcus cannon this entire game he's just too athletic for him fast off the snap punches him swipes him away dips rips just three nice moves on this, and then he doesn't give up. Martin, he's a very high energy player. You gotta love that about him, and he comes down with the sack. Okay, so Jacob is lined up on the left here in a very wide split outside of the tight end. And he's in a two-point stance, just standing up. Essentially has a 3-4 outside linebacker, even though this is this looks like nickel. But this is one of those sacks where Jacob wins pretty much just on pure athleticism here. So let me see. Flies off the snap as always, super fast. And just look how outside he is at this point. Now what I would really love to see is Jacob Martin counter back inside because look at how this right tackle is standing. Look at how he's standing compared to look at how the left tackle standing where he's kind of more in this diagonal way whereas Marcus Cannon is just completely horizontal. So when you get them flipped like this, you can just counter inside really easily. But that's the next step for Jacob Martin to show and He's working on it. I'll show in the next video about him, I'll show how he's working on that. But anyways, he's coming on the outside here and he just completely wins. He dips his shoulder down just off pure speed and he brings down Brady. That looks so easy. He made it look so easy, but I swear this is not easy to do. He flies off the edge. Marcus Cannon can't get there. He really beats him to his landmark. Like look how slow Marcus Cannon looks compared to, he just looks funny running like that compared to Jacob Martin. And he dips his shoulder. Look at how low he gets. This is crazy. This is really hard to do. It's low so he can stay on balance because if the lower you are, the better balance you have. So he can't get pushed out of the play. And he's just he's just shot out of a cannon, man. And that's a nice sack. Oof. Oh, look at this little, little little clutch spin at the at the bottom. This little like cartwheel looking thing. Oh, get right up. We had a celebration. Ah, oh, haters. I'm gonna play it one more time for you guys, and then we'll be out of here. So he flies off the edge, boom, dips his shoulder, just easy, easy sack here. Martin, Martin can do that all damn day if you're gonna be that slow. This is just awesome. So that concludes my breakdown of Jacob Martin's 2019 sacks with the Houston Texans. I hope you enjoyed and that I helped give you guys some insights as to why I'm so high on him. Martin's pure athleticism really shined in this breakdown, but he also showed a good amount of hand technique that if he continues to build on, he's gonna be really special. So this is the first part in a three-part series I'm going to do on Jacob Martin. You can expect the next two videos to come out in the next two days. I'll be looking at some of his other reps that resulted in pressures, hurries, or just reps that I found interesting and want to show y'all. And in the last video, I will look to dissect his run defense and see if he's already a three down linebacker or what he needs to do to truly become one. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed my first ever video. If you did, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what, it, what I did well and what I can work on in the future. Also, this channel is all about you guys. I have my video ideas, but I really want to hear from you. What do you want to see from me? 
leave that in the comments below as well this channel is all about you guys now you can follow me on twitter at texans underscore thoughts i'm also part of texans unfiltered so you can find them on twitter at houston fb pod also on instagram same thing houston fb pod and check out our website man we've got really great podcast episodes and really great articles about more film like this or just really anything texans related so if you love the texans check us out all right this was jordan we're texans thoughts hope you enjoyed and come back for more take care everyone